All right, today is day three of the 30 day, 30 videos challenge. Today's video, have you ever considered starting YouTube? I know that it's not easy to just start, but honestly, that's how I went about it as if trying something different, you know? But for the most part, it's not easy. I'm telling you guys now, it's not easy. But it's well worth it. For someone that only has 190 subscribers, I'm very happy and, and appreciate it for those that have subscribed so far. And Right now we're on the way to the market, but I figure I want to stay on topic of starting a YouTube channel and provide tips on how to go about it. Mainly, if you're someone that's over 30 years old, I believe that you should start a YouTube channel because you already have value the fact that you've already lived 30 years of experience whether it's working for a company being an entrepreneur whatever it may be wherever you're at right now whatever you're doing that's content you are the content and you just got to be confident in that just little things as remember the first time you applied for a job and got the interview and then you got the position those are little things that boost your confidence. It's the same thing about starting YouTube. You're not gonna go in knowing everything right away. It's gonna take time and practice to learn things that you've never done before. It's the same thing at your job right now or a business that you're running. You're, you're constantly learning on the fly. So it's the same thing with starting with YouTube. And it's nothing different. The only thing is, when you go about your daily life, you just hold a camera. That's it. And another thing is, when, when you go about making content, Try to think about your audience. You can tell right away, just based off the engagement, the likes on the videos, comments, the views. Take anything positive and negative, put it together and, and, and make a, a decision what direction you wanna go. And try different, different type of genres, different type of categories, and learn from it. Which one that attracts your audience is everyone's different. And stick to what you know. Like when I started off, uh, I was making content about running because I wanted to vlog uh, my journey of, of running and how it honestly, it made such a difference in my life and impacted other people that I love and inspired other people to run. And so I didn't think that that was going to happen when I first started out, but I just vlogged it out. And car coming. But the point is, you just start. You never know where it's gonna end and where it goes. Just about enjoying the process. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. And I know a lot of times, well, I wouldn't say a lot of times, but I would say sometimes, if you're like, if you, if you like for everything to turn green before you start, that's, that's not gonna happen. And that's just gonna hold you back every year 
from starting your own YouTube channel because nothing, nothing in life just lines up the way you want it. It was the same way when I, when I first got into business. It doesn't line up the way you want it. Like with the donut shop, like everything doesn't perfectly line, meaning like I didn't know how to make donuts at the time, but I learned, I just learned on the fly. But yeah, we made it to the Baba place. And yeah, back to what I was saying about like just making content. You just go about making content the way you know and just explore and, and, and such and like that. You just start where you're at. Like if, if your workplace allows it, then, then record. But if your workplace doesn't, then this is why I talk about opening a small business because you have your own business, you can record yourself and do what you normally do with your customers, right? And as part of promoting your business. If you, if you own a small business, this is probably the best way to promote your business, right? Think about it. You're showing your future customers the things that you normally provide to your current customers and how you can show how you can add value to their life, right? So, so that's another tip. And as far as like how, how YouTube has uh, affected my life so far, like it's I'm trying to get away from the sunlight real quick get a better so how it has affected my life personally is the fact that I'm not great at talking in front of a camera number one and so if that's someone like you trust me like I don't feel comfortable even right now. I have like 10 people right in front of me. You see right here that when I was there, standing there, they were just, you know, like, who's this guy on the camera? Why are you recording? It doesn't make you feel comfortable. But after a while, you just keep focus on the topic at hand like I am trying to do right now, which is telling you if you're over 30, you should definitely start a YouTube channel. It's one of the best experience that I've personally experienced of, uh, it just rejuvenate your youth. It brings out energy in you that you haven't had before. And when you constantly trying to come up with creative ideas, it's one of those things where it just makes you feel younger. Like even since coming to Cambodia, I've, for the most part, I've got used to uh, not taking hot showers, right? And how those little things affect me as far as recovery, as far as how I feel in the morning. Those little things of taking cold showers, it might have actually affected how I've lost weight too, because it's just, I'm, right now I'm currently 153 pounds. Like that's insane. I've never been at that weight probably since middle school. So it's just little things. It's all, and I do believe that you starting YouTube played a key role in that, right? Being more fit, being more healthy because it's accountability evolved. You guys as viewers that are watching my audience, you know, is it's a constant accountability. If you say something on YouTube, you got to do it, man. Like, don't be that person that says something and don't do it. It's all about, especially as a man, it's about having integrity. You know, that's, if, if you have anything in life, at least keep your integrity. Don't change it for nobody. And. As far as equipment goes, currently I'm using the Osmo Pocket 3. 
It comes with the microphone that you see here. It come, I bought the creator package. It came out to, I believe, I have to double check, but on the top of my head, I think it was around 800. And then I bought, I uh, upgraded my laptop to the Apple MacBook Air. I think that's what it's called. And the computer itself, the MacBook, it's, it helped a lot because now when I record in 4K, it renders out the video. For those that don't know what that means, like when you edit videos and you use a software and then you have to uh, pretty much produce the video, like basically <laughs> make it into a file that you can upload onto YouTube. That's what I mean by rendering it. It renders a lot quicker, meaning like it set up a one hour wait of rendering out to make it a, a video file. It'll, it, it, before it would take like an, an hour, but now it'll take like 15 minutes tops. But those are the things that save you a lot of time. You don't have to wait it out. And there's no lagging issues handling 4K. But as of today, since we're doing the 30 days video and 30 day challenge, this video is recorded in 1080p because it's a lot of videos I have to record in a month. I mean, right now on my channel, I have 69 videos and just to do 30 videos in 30 days, that's a challenge in itself. And that's the thing, when you start YouTube, start off with doing challenges, right? Push yourself, push your boundaries a little bit. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be dull or make it, make it fun, make it something that you know that will push your limits and who knows, who knows what happens, right? So, even right now, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I have to deal with all these noise. Maybe I should have went to a park that's more quiet, but I had to shoot this video, right? Not had to, but it's a, a challenge that I wanted to accomplish, to improve myself in communicating being comfortable and talking in front of random people because look man people people don't people don't care people don't care what you're doing just block out that noise like i used to think like people care like i'm holding a camera and just talking but honestly people don't and so um Hopefully it's not that loud, and you guys can hear me. Huh? But, yeah, so I went over the equipment, provided tips on how to go about, like what content to make, and now I wanna go over how to find your niche. That's a pretty cool coffee shop. Pretty busy too. But uh, how to find your niche? Look, for me personally, I've I've just tested things like started talking about giving advice on how to open a small business, my running journey, now my trip to Cambodia, and I'm just and, and reviewing running shoes, and I'm just trying to figure out even for myself because I'm new to this. I'm still trying to figure out um, how to go about things. Sorry guys, I constantly have to pause for mopeds. How to go about things. Yeah, definitely the next video we're gonna go to a park. <laughs> but how to go about it, like finding your niche. So, do videos that you personally have a lot of experience in, number one. So, for example, I've been to Cambodia eight times, and every time is different. 
every time is different. But I've learned, every time I've come here, I've learned something new every time. And the one thing is, when you've been to a place multiple times, that's experience, right? And you can always fall back on those experiences that you've gone through. And you're able to talk about it, uh, share that value with your audience. And sorry, man, I'm, I'm really, I'm really distracted. Part of me tells me that I should probably just go to a park. But I'm trying to deal with what I have in hand. And that's part of YouTube, man. It's starting to die out right here as far as the noise. And yeah, just, just start off with your experience. If you don't have experience in something, it's going to be very hard for you to talk about that topic, right? So don't, don't shoot yourself in the foot by talking about something you don't even know about. It makes it a lot easier. We are at, I need to get gear or what? Uh, we gotta exchange some money. But, yeah, don't shoot yourself in the foot by talking about things that you don't even know about. It's a nice restaurant across the street. Bread Chef. Might, might actually go check that out. Oh, you want to try to eat at that place? Bread Chef? Oh, the ball. All right, so we already got a ball, but that might be a spot we might go to during this 30-day challenge. Let me check out what they sell there for so Now nah, I'll find out when I, go, I, go, I give it a try. But, Yeah, what well, I was saying, stick to what you have experience in, and then just start from there. And then try, try different, try different categories. I already brought that up. Okay. Yeah, man. Just, just start. It, it's, it's going to get difficult the more you wait. So why not just, just, just give it a try, and then. As far as uh, editing the videos, I use DaVinci Resolve. And whenever you want to learn how to use DaVinci Resolve, you just type it into YouTube search and it'll pop up. There's a plenty of content creators that, that makes a lot of different videos of how to edit videos. And sometimes, man, you don't even need to edit the video. I'm right now, I'm, I'm going through this 30 day challenge. I'm barely editing anything. You just need that uh, editing software just to put the clips together and render it into a file that you can upload onto YouTube. So. So we talked about software I use, the equipment I use, the tips on how to go about getting started. I think, I think that's it guys. If I come up with something else, I'll, I'll pop up right back in. But until then, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. And yeah, if you haven't yet, subscribe and uh, like this video. It will help a lot. Also share it to people that are thinking about starting YouTube. And you know, Check out uh, my other videos that I have up. If you're interested in coming to Cambodia, you can check out the playlist Cambodia Trip 2024, and it will give you an idea of, uh, of places to eat, places to visit so far that we've, we've already been to. And like I said, um, my track record of coming here eight times, you know, that's my credentials of knowing uh, about Cambodia and visiting and that saves you time, right? I'm trying to provide free value to you and in return, I hope you guys can uh, 
you know, watch my other videos. Um, you know, I don't ask for anything. Uh, just, and for, this is gonna be a little bit off topic, but I have to say this right now, is when me and Sapon got into the moped accident, I just wanna say thank you for those that financially uh, donated to the hospital bills. And, and as you can see, I don't have the cast on, so I'm 100%. Um, my ligaments aren't fully healed yet. There'll be another month for that. But I can do a lot of daily activities. I can edit the videos with two, two hands now. It's not as difficult. But man, look, check this out, bro. Like Cambodia, they got all these barbecue chicken. They got two exhaust vents coming out of that place. I've never seen that before. You guys see that? I hope that picks up. But yeah, this is Cambodia. I'm gonna end this out video. And yeah, I love you guys. Have a good one.